Hi everybody, just thought I'd make a quick video to answer a question um, that I thought might be interesting to everybody uh, that I was asked by a customer the other day and it's about a chemical that Fender used to use in the 1960s. What is Fullerplast? Well Fullerplast is a polyurethane based sealant and yes you did hear that right it's polyurethane. Fuller after its inventor Fuller O'Brien not Fullerton uh, the place where the Fender guitars were made in the 60s and plast because it's plastic it's polyurethane now sealants are used on all kinds of wood based products we have to seal the wood here's one I sealed yesterday and you can see it's got this kind of hue to it but it's clear and it's real hard you know. um, the point of doing it is to stop your fine finishes which are expensive from just soaking into the guitar and going off and then having to flatten them again and spray again and spray again and spray again until they build up a layer. This stuff carries a lot of physical solid onto the guitar. It goes off nice and hard. You can sand it absolutely flat and then you've got an inert flat base to work on. So you're not wasting lots of the expensive clear high quality nitrocellulose having it soak into the wood. You've sealed it and it's inert. So a lot of these myths about, you know, 60s fenders, you know, the wood breathes and all this kind of stuff, it's nonsense and you don't want to listen to any of that. It's just snake oil. So let's talk about the stuff itself. Um, we can't buy Fullerplast in the UK. And in fact, I don't know that um, it's even very available in its original form in the USA anymore. But we can get something that's very close to it over here. And this is what I use. It's... It's by a company, it's an American company, it's all the same. It's uh, uh, Sherwin Williams, and their uh, name over here, brand name over here, is Sayalac. And you can hear it's got a lot of solids in it. Now, I'm not going to pour it because it's a bit nasty and smelly. But can you hear that's heavy, thick stuff in that can? That's the actual solids that go on the guitar. What we have here is the hardener. You have to mix it exactly 50% hardener. Okay, and you can hear that's just like water. Okay, and that's really thin. And mm -hmm. it's own thinner. Now, it's own thinner is different to the thinner that is used in nitrocellulose. That means that the nitrocellulose doesn't attack this at all. Once you've got this stuff flat on here, it stays flat. The nitrocellulose won't remove it, uh, won't thin it, won't reactivate it. It's not going to sink into the wood. And that is why Fender used it. Um, but it does give the light to this idea that somehow nitrocellulose sounds better because actually all those early 60s Fender guitars that are so prized and so expensive to buy now are actually all finished in Fullerplast, which is polyurethane. And it's just done because it's cheaper. That's the real truth of it. Um, from a production standpoint, having a sealant that cannot react with your top coat is just uh, a more efficient way of working. As we all know, the offender was not a guitar player, he was a production engineer. Everything he was doing was about making the process more efficient, getting a good, reliable product to his customers at a price that they could afford so that he could shift lots of units. So there it is, Fullerplast, plastic polyurethane finish uh, that was used under nitrocellulose on all your vintage fenders from about 1961 or 62 onwards.